Stick tuned and it is there the way So yesterday's interview, or yesterday evening's interview was kind of bad. Uh, we got in pretty late, so we were trying to get in the Hyrax and um, get a jump start. I am in Old Mexico. I am mule deer hunting. Saw two shooters yesterday. One was after dark, so we didn't get it on film, but we could just see it, but I'm excited. It's looking up. Uh, we got three of us, so after I shoot, I'm going to film the other two guys, hopefully, but we're split up right now, so we'll see how it goes. It's it's pretty pretty sweet here. Um, we're in a place called Hermosilla, and uh, we flew in yesterday. Everyone's outside eating breakfast right now. Uh, they are rutting right now, so we called in several yesterday just by doing a little um, doe doe like bleat. It worked. Um, we called in two does. They ran in, and uh, the buck was just in that thick stuff, and we couldn't get them to come out, but. Uh, we're going after a really big one this morning. We've seen him uh, right at dark yesterday evening. He's probably going to go like 190, close to 200. So I'm excited. Hopefully we can get on him and uh, any others.
ver, mijo. Está grande. Sácalo, sácalo para afuera tantito. Oh. oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Big one? Yeah, he's good. <laughs> Mine, uh, oh, but it's very good for for. Mine's for close, my because I bow hunt a lot. Yeah, for the elbow. So hunt. it's yeah. you know I don't have to have like a high dollar yeah. one. Right. Oh, that was probably that could have been only two hundred with the, the angle. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I knew when he said I shot over on the first shot. I was like, Yep. Well, he, Andy, you clicked it to three hundred, and he was yeah. at two eighty. He probably walked another twenty yards before After, he shot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, guys, just got a mule deer down. Hopefully, <laughs> or actually, we know so we uh. So I shot my first shot and it was probably 280 is what we ranged him at. And uh, he ended up walking closer to us and I shot and we're shooting steep at a steep angle. So my first shot sailed over him. He was at 280 when we first ranged him and I put it on three and I shouldn't have done that. I probably should have left it at 250 or so with the angle that we're at. Cause I mean, we are at a super steep angle and uh, I shot and sold one over him and the mule deer actually ran right towards us so it couldn't have worked out any better because he ran to about 200 yards. I dialed my scope back down and uh, shot him and he ran probably another 50 yards or so and we saw him going to the brush and we sat there and waited and waited and one of the, one of the guys that's with us, uh, he walked down there and just to see if we could find him or spook him out if he was still wounded and he found him dead. That was awesome. We are heading down to go check him out. Stoked. Oh, I see him. I see Victor. <laughs> oh. What a tank. <laughs> That's some ass. Yeah, his bases. That's a good deer. That's an awesome deer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Welcome, you very sir. much. Welcome. Thank you. Congrats. Thanks, man. Big time. Yeah, that was awesome. Good work, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the junk right here. Or whatever. Like This guy's a tank, guys. He is a tank. His mass is ridiculous. He's got super good mass. He's got marks all on him from fighting. He is rutting really hard. On film, you probably won't be able to see it very well, but right before I shot him the first time, he was scent checking, I guess, in the air, and uh, that was that was pretty nerve wracking looking through the scope at him. But anyways, we're gonna get him drug out and uh, get back on the truck, head back to camp, and see what everyone else saw, and go back out this evening. We still got two guys that have to kill, so stay tuned for more. Hopefully, uh, we can get some more deer on the ground. Thank you.